the smoke around, make sure there's none of this. So, you know, you think I'd be used to it at this point, but every time I see all these people converge, it's just, uh, yeah, I'm almost awestruck. You know, it's, it's almost leaves me speechless at times. Laura found her lump on October 2nd of 2013. As the seasons change, one date reminds friends and family of a sense of loss, yet inspires a community. As Tom Wiley's wife began a two-year battle with breast cancer, Laura had many bad days. But on this day, December 5th, she had a good one. There she was. She was making pancakes. And the first thing that she told me was, was how great she felt. The family felt normal for the first time in months. They put up Christmas decorations and saw the lights in Tillis Park. We didn't talk about cancer. You know, we just, uh, just had this day full of small little moments. Laura died the next month. In the weeks that followed, Tom reflected on that one great day. So that's when I started coming up with the idea of giving families whose lives have been affected by cancer just a day of moments, a day of experiences. Joined by friends, Wiley launched the December 5th Fund, a not-for-profit group aimed at giving families dealing with cancer one good day. I knew Tom wanted to do something to honor Lara, so when he brought this idea around, I just knew it was the right thing to do. Each great day looks different. In this scenario, an army of volunteers do a massive cleanup, reorganization, and needed repairs inside and outside a home in De Pere, while the family enjoys a day out. Right now what we're doing is we're taking everything out of the cabinets, sort of reorganizing, putting like things together, making more space too for other things. We'll be doing all the dishes as well, getting all the clean dishes put away so that they just come back to a sparkling kitchen. Sometimes the house fix part is a surprise, but in this case, the group met with a mom who is sick, who had some things she wanted done for her family, like a basketball hoop for her children. And this was her vision of what she wanted, and so it's just really inspiring and just really makes you feel good that you're just kind of taking some of those worries away from the mom. And I know that it's just you're so inundated with uh, the day-to-day -day requirements of that person that everything else falls down around you and living in you know a mess tends to wear on you mentally as well you know you feel better you come home to a nice house to the yard work as opposed to going oh great I've got to now go out and mow the lawn to weed whack fix the gutter all of these things which aren't important to you because obviously the loved ones uh, Wellness is more important, but it's still something that, you know, oh, I need to do, oh, I need, so it, it removes that burden if only for a few uh, weeks, months, something like that. Many of these volunteers traveled the cancer journey with Tom and his family. Jennifer Schaefer was one of Lara's closest friends. When I lost best friend, uh, I wanted to give back and help people and kind of help heal my heart. Beth Warman joined the volunteer crew after the December 5th fund helped a relative also battling breast cancer. It was super emotional. She was completely overwhelmed and it was very touching. It was, um, they uh, came together and did this great day for her and her kids and it was, it was great. Every family situation is unique and so is their special day out, which sometimes include behind the scenes tours at sporting events, movies, concerts, and meals with friends. The idea to relieve the burdens back home stems from Wiley's personal situation as well. People would show up at his house to clean, do laundry, and other tasks without being asked. Yeah, Jared hasn't fallen off the roof yet, so it's a good day. Yeah. When my wife was going through all this, I had the same kind of support, but I never asked for it. People would just show up to my house, they do the laundry, they clean the house, they do whatever they could to show support for us. And that's, uh, I mean, that's why we do this. In its first year, the December 5th Fund gave a great day to seven families. 
Its supporters also do special events on December 5th, including random acts of kindness around the St. Louis area. It's a way, Tom says, to remember Laura and move forward in a way that spreads joy to families during a tumultuous time. You know, sometimes the small moments turn into the big moments.